Welcome back again, everyone. <laughs> I'm Denise with Spiritual Growth Tarot. This is your daily reading, Monday, June 26th, 2023, of course. And as always, my intention is to help you make the best of the day and, uh, and have little breadcrumbs. <laughs> that lead you within to, to find your own unique guidance. Okay, so we have the Queen of Swords, but she came through reversed. So it's really important to not um, be too critical of yourself or maybe others when, when you're up this morning. It's so easy to get sucked into negativity. You know, for me, all I have to do is turn on the news. <laughs> And then I'm and then I'm just seriously just as quick as I can, muting it and uh, and then later on just turning it off. I tend to leave it on in case something might happen. But other than that, yeah, it's frustrating. Okay, so Queen of Swords, Six of Swords reversed. They're both reversed. Oh boy! I mean, I I really did tons of uh, oh and Nine of Pentacles reversed. Okay, I did tons and tons of shuffling ahead of time so but we'll figure out how to turn these around and sometimes reversals are good for you know for getting the the, the guidance that we need and then other times um, we just need to learn how to turn things around so anyway Queen of Swords yeah she can be critical uh, she can be pessimistic she can be careless and cold-hearted and a flat-out liar. So if you have something like that going on in your life this morning, I have a feeling that you'll recognize it. Because we all have pretty good little bullshit meters. <laughs> and with the Six of Swords, with, uh, with that one coming through reversed, well, that one could be that you're feeling overwhelmed or there's some instability. Maybe you're trapped kind of, you know, in one of those situations with somebody who's very pessimistic, going off on a tangent, and you're needing to get away, that feeling that you're wanting to get away. Because it's too mentally stressful to listen to that for too long, right? I... Uh, and then with the Nine of Pentacles reverse, well, that one kind of makes me wonder if it's someone, yeah, okay, so if you're hanging out with someone and they are jealous and they're dependent and they're, you know, they're just, they're not, they don't have their own financial, um, well, they haven't learned yet how to make ends meet and they're jealous of what other people have and um, they don't live within their means, basically. Instead, they just project it all out. Uh, those would be the kind of people to stay away from because it, it's uh, not empowering at all uh, for someone to be projecting their own uh, situations out to, onto other people and blaming them. You know, I mean, if you're, if you're in a dead-end job, it's your job to leave it and find a better one or find a better one and then leave it, Right. If, if you're in a situation where you can't find any of the jobs that you like, then, then you know, that's when it's our job to um, educate ourselves in, in the areas that we really want to work in. And sometimes, though, and this may be true for a lot of people out there, you might be taking care of someone who's an elderly person and they've never gotten their crap together and they've always been dependent and now they're in their later, you know, stages of life and they are going to bitch and moan until the day they die. I've, I've seen it happen. I, I know those situations. And um, it's hard to, you know, hold space for that. So... I think the best way to turn things around would be to trust in your own clear thinking. And when it comes time to clock out, you're going to feel really good. 
And the way to feel really good as soon as you, well, you're going to feel better, but the way to feel even better is connect with nature. Do something for yourself when you get done with that situation, if that's the case. And we all have those situations at some point in our lives. Um, you know, and if it's someone that that you trust and you can say, well, that's a little pessimistic. Does it really have to be that way? Maybe you can help them, you know, turn things around. And maybe they're just venting and they need you to let them vent for a little while and then everything's, you know, fine later on. And on another level too, maybe the way to turn things around and get that ship sailing in the right direction Right? I mean, we've got a lot of watery images here, even with the swords, but maybe the best way is to get them out in nature if you can. Take them out for a walk. You know, uh, get, or get them out for a good roll <laughs> or whatever, you know, uh, or maybe even a drive in the car. Anything to let them connect with nature or connect yourself with nature, you know, that, that's, that's going to be the biggest help. Um, maybe going to buy some flowers. Maybe just looking out the window as much as you can. That will help re-nourish and replenish um, your, uh, your inner state. <laughs> okay, so I hope this is helpful. And if none of this applies to you, often these cards are just, uh, the readings can be just to help you understand what the cards mean. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, other than that, have a wonderful Monday, and I'll be back soon. Bye.